Hello everybody and welcome to the long awaited Q&A. Um, welcome to the couch. This is the official Q&A couch joined by everybody. Um, I said I was going to make this video and it's been like two months so <laughs> let's just get right into it. So the first question that I have on here is favorite Broadway show, favorite food, and future dreams. Like just future. Um, so if you didn't know, I'm a huge theater nerd. I love everything theater. I go to an art school and I'm a theater major. And so for my Make-A-Wish that I did a while ago, I went to New York to see Broadway shows and I saw four shows and it was amazing. I'd go back to New York just to see a show. Um, but my favorite Broadway show is Newsies. So if you've never heard of Newsies, it's like a history musical kind of, and it's really good and I love it and it's on Disney plus you should go watch it it's really good I also obviously I like Hamilton um I like Into the Woods that's one of the ones we got to see and it was so good um but Newsies is always going to be my number one I just I love it so much I know all the words and um the main female role is like one of my dream roles so for future dreams dream role would be getting to be in Newsies um my favorite food is Alfredo I love pasta I love a good sauce. <laughs> um, uh, I also like Mexican food, so anything Mexican I will eat. But my favorite is definitely um, Alfredo. <laughs> um, and then Future Dreams, I really wanna be an actress someday. Um, being on Broadway, I don't know if I could live in New York. Just I just couldn't deal with everything in New York, but I do wanna be an actress. So um, let's find a good one. My dad put, why is your dad so awesome? Because of me, because he has an amazing daughter. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay. This one, what are some things you look forward to in 2023? Obviously it's now March and I'm just putting this video up, but I asked around January, but some things that I really look forward to in 2023, I would definitely say, um, I start high school in August, which is a while away. Um, but I'm excited for the summer and just spending time with my family. Obviously right now, because I'm in treatment, um, I really don't know much of like the future of what chemo will be like. Um, as you know, I had scans a while ago. This is like a scans update. Um, so scans are good. It shows that the tumors in my lungs have shrunk. So that is a very good thing. And so we're gonna continue doing chemo for a while. I just finished my third round and then I have another round in um, like a week or two. And so that, so really 2023, I'm just looking forward to enjoying the time that I get at home and with my family and my friends. Um, and I'm very <laughs> looking forward to seeing our school play, which is Legally Blonde, and my brother's in it. And I'm very excited to see that. That's just an honorable mention. Favorite feel-good TV shows and snacks? Um, ooh, feel-good TV show. I have always really loved Alexa and Katie. Um, it always has a special place in my heart because it's about a girl who has cancer and her best friend. And my name is Alexis, and her name's Alexa. And then my mom's name is Katie, and then her best friend's name is Katie. And so it always, in my heart, I'm just like Alexa and Katie and me and my mom. And it's just a good show. So that's, I always watch that um, when I'm feeling down or when I just need something. And then snacks, probably popcorn. I love popcorn. Um, it's my favorite snack. It's my favorite thing, honestly. <laughs> um, and I love Oreos and candy and anything like that. But definitely Alexa and Katie. What are some things you enjoy in school? So, I go to an art school, as I said, and my favorite thing is theater and just getting to be in an environment where I can perform and learn more about something that I just, I love. Um, I also get to take chorus and I love to sing. Um, I have amazing teachers. Or that's like one of the main reasons I love school is because I have teachers that are just make school such a fun place to be. Um, and that's my favorite thing. And learning. I mean, learning is fun. <laughs> what has made you become who you are? That's a deep question. Um, 
I wanted to include this one because I feel it's very important to say cancer is a big part of who I am. You know, when I was first finished with all my treatment, you know, I wanted to forget like cancer. I just wanted to ignore it. And I realized that without all that I've been through, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And sometimes it's it's awful. Cancer is just a terrible thing. But I'm so grateful for all the opportunities that I've gotten. Um, without cancer, I would never wish it upon anybody on me or anything. But without it, I wouldn't know everything that I know. Um, because of cancer, I get to help other kids with cancer. When I was younger, before I was diagnosed, I didn't know kids could get cancer. And so I never thought about it. But after I found out and I went through treatment, I realized that I wanted to help other kids. And so cancer is a big part of who I am. So that is something. I hope that made sense. Um, if you had to choose one outfit, what would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. I am not the biggest like fashion person. Like this is like one of my favorite outfits because it's Taylor Swift in a skirt. And so I'm not the hugest fashion person, but I do love a good like jean jacket. I love wearing my puffy jean jacket. So probably like a dress and a jean jacket and some boots. <laughs> um, this one, I really like this one. I hearted this one. Just a simple, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> Um, life can be hard sometimes, but I'm home right now, as you can see in the Q&A couch. Um, and I'm just living my life, just going day by day, um, finding the great things about every single TV show that you can find on Netflix and Hulu and Disney+. Plus. I have been watching Mass Singer, one of my favorite shows. I've been watching The Last of Us on HBO Max, which is a really good show. And I've been listening to a lot of music and a lot of Taylor Swift. <laughs> um, oh, favorite Taylor Swift album, since we're on the topic of Taylor Swift. That's a hard one. I love Reputation. Reputation is like the first time I like really fell in love with Taylor Swift and I went to the Reputation tour and it was a really good show. Um, I love Midnight's. So that's really hard. So I'm just gonna say reputation. I don't know, I love Lover too. I love them all, honestly. Okay, so we're on Facebook and so we're gonna start with the first one. And this one is actually a really good one and I had to think about it for a second. But it's, what advice do you give to a kid who just got diagnosed with cancer? Obviously, when you're diagnosed with cancer, you're just, your brain is just, what? When I was first diagnosed, I couldn't really, I didn't process it immediately I just I was like I didn't think about it and so my dad took me to a museum and I got to go to the museum and I'm a big nerd so I love museum um and I didn't think about it until a few days later when I had my port placed and then I was like I have cancer um but to any kid that like just got diagnosed with cancer I think I wouldn't want to make it too sappy because cancer sucks but I would go through and tell them the good things I got to meet so many incredible people I still meet so many incredible people and I think just being there and being a friend to somebody who's just been diagnosed is very important me saying oh it's gonna be so hard you know you're gonna lose all your hair that's not gonna help I would just be there for them they need anything and if you get diagnosed with cancer you know somebody reach out to me um comment or whatever and i would love to talk about just being there and helping with any questions so that's kind of how i re would react um where is your favorite place to travel florida uh, we recently just got back from universal and i already want to go back i love florida i love the sun um, I'm not the hugest beach person. I love the beach and I love swimming, but not so much the ocean and the sand getting everywhere, but just being in Florida and feeling the sun or being near Universal and Disney World. I just love Florida. And also, there's no place like home. <laughs> my home basically is my vacation house because I'm at the hospital so much. So anytime I just get to be home, 
it's just like, yes, I don't want to leave my bed. Um, what, what do you do to pass time when you're impatient? Um, whenever I'm staying in the hospital, I do a lot of crafts, a lot of crafts. I have like a whole bag of crafts that I do. Um, I recently have been doing musical therapy with Miss Abby. I love her so much. She's amazing. So I'm learning how to play the ukulele. If you saw my other video a while ago, I have my ukulele that I'm learning. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube. I must say, I'm always looking for new YouTube videos to watch, um, watch movies and stuff like that. Mostly just keep myself distracted because if I have focused on something else, then I won't feel sick. Um, what's the most frustrating side effect, side effect from treatment? For me personally, besides, you know, losing my hair, the worst thing is going to the bathroom. The smell. Any smell just makes me so sick. Like, every time I get up to go to the bathroom, I have to put a mask because the bathroom smells so bad and it makes me, like, throw up. It's the worst thing is smells. Like, I can have medicine for nausea and I can sleep if I have nausea, but I have to go to the bathroom and that's an essential thing. And it makes me so sick. What do you use to, um, what do you do to cope on your hard days? Talk to my brother and talk to people. Certain people that if I'm just having such a bad day that I just need like to separate from the world, I just, I talk to Peyton, my brother. Um, he's my best friend in the whole world. I could talk to him for hours and he would keep me distracted. He helps me, like he'll play games with me, he'll be silly, he'll do he'll do anything. Or like I have another friend that I text a lot and I love her and she just like, I can just rant to her like about something that I'm, <laughs> or whatever and she listens and she talks and that is just so important to me, just having somebody to talk to. Um, so that's coping, just friends. Um, Oh, this is an interesting. If you could get a giant megaphone and would tell one thing to everyone in the world, what would you say? I would say donate to the Rally Foundation, help find a cure for childhood cancer. Yes. <laughs> okay. Listen, what can people do to help those going through cancer treatment? What are things we should not do? Um, things to help kids going through, or just people in general, like not just kids, is anybody going through cancer treatment, is if they say there's, there's a food that they want, get them the food. In the hospital, or sometimes even at home, you just, you don't feel like you want to eat, like just nothing, just food doesn't sound good. But if there is something that sounds good and they actually want to eat, you got to get that food as fast as you can because just having a little bit of something that tastes good that we actually want when you find the food and you have it, it just, it hits the spot and it's amazing. Food is so important. And so when you feel like you don't want to eat anything and just everything sounds gross and you just can't eat and then you want to have something to eat and you get it, it's just, it, I don't know. I can't explain it. It just makes you so happy. Um, things not to do. This is a big one for me. Um, personally, I don't like it when people treat me different because I have cancer. Um, I love still doing all the same things. I love acting, I love dancing, I love singing. And I don't want to be treated differently just because I'm in treatment. Maybe sometimes I can be a little bit slower, like, so maybe treat me like, give me a few seconds if you're like running up and down the halls. I can't do that immediately, but you know, just, don't treat me like I'm sick and don't treat anybody. If somebody has cancer, treat them like they're your friend because they are, nothing's changed. Um, so I think that's very important. Okay. Oh, this one's so sweet and I, I saw I had to add it. Do you know that you are such an inspiration and inspire and influence people every single day? I try. I want to help people and I, um, I started this channel mostly because I wanted to share my journey, but also because I wanted to have a place where people could come see what it's like to have childhood cancer and in the hopes that people will know more about it and be educated and want to help. So like 
talking about Rally Foundation. It's an amazing foundation that works every day to find a cure for childhood cancer and also support kids that are in the hospital. So they have, they bring food to the hospital, they do different fundraisers, all sorts of stuff. Um, and I just, I wanna help kids and I want, what I'm going through is very hard. And so I want no kid to ever have to go through anything like this. Um, but I want kids to have the support and help that they need when they do have to go through it. Um, so thank you. That was very sweet. Um, what's your favorite day of the week? Right now, I would say it had to be Tuesdays because I always go to the hospital on Wednesdays. And so doing math, I come home on Tuesdays, which is funny because normally I hate Tuesdays. Cause they're like the worst day of the week. But Tuesdays, I get to come home. So I love Tuesdays. But I also, I have to say, I do love Saturdays because Peyton's home and he's not at school. So those are also good days. Um, any day I'm home is a good day of the week. So sometimes I'm, in, I'm usually in the hospital on Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, come home Tuesday, and then I'm home for a week or, or for a few weeks. So, any day I'm home is a good day of the week. <laughs> Have you taught Lucy any tricks? You know, Lucy's my dog. Um, she can sit, she can lay down, she can, like, jump. But other than that, she can't do much. She's, she's a little stupid. <laughs> she's not as stupid as her other dog, Squirrel, which I love Squirrel. She, Squirrel can sit and shake, and, and that's it. Um, they're goofballs, and they're too wild to <laughs> get them to do tricks. But she tries that is basically all the questions i hope you guys enjoyed i had an amazing time just reading through the questions you guys are so nice i love every single one of you um thank you so much for answering questions if i need to do another q a i will um i love you all so much you're the best um and i'll see you guys later bye